this spring, the one-eyed female only laid one egg. The couple begins a daily routine. For five long weeks, they'll take turns incubating the egg. As winter ebbs, the well-practiced team seems to be headed for success. But spring is a fickle season. In mid-April, it was a freak snowstorm. I'll never forget it. The nest was being blown around by this violent wind. The snow was going absolute horizontal. And it just kept reminding me of what these birds are facing in everyday life. They were well into incubation. So the changing of the guard was always quick. Because you got to remember, they have delicate eggs that they're protecting and keeping warm. There seemed to be shifts of an hour, an hour and a half, where one eagle would sit on the egg while the other was out foraging for food. Through this storm, the male sat, waiting for the female to return. Tragically, something happened to her, we're not sure what. There's so many things out there that can work against the survival of these magnificent birds and makes you realize how fragile their existence actually is. Cold and hungry, the father abandons his egg. Now he has lost almost everything. He may find another mate and start all over again. But until then, he must defend his territory alone. When Europeans arrived in North America, the continent teemed with as many as half a million bald eagles. But as settlers advanced, the raptors became targets and their nesting trees fell to the blade. For raptor specialist Bob Anderson, the pioneer's attitude was simply arrogant and ignorant. All birds of prey were just considered vermin. I mean, they were all chicken hawks. They were all bad birds. Be it a, a, a bald eagle, a golden eagle, a red-tailed hawk, they were all shot. At the start of the 20th century, bald eagles were under siege across the lower 48. Alaska seemed like the last wild place and there, the bald eagle thrived. But in night. October in the upper Mississippi Valley. The fall weather is mild and eagles are free from the burdens of the nest.
Water birds, soon to depart for warmer havens, are briefly abundant. they will soon be entombed in ice. As open water freezes over, an eagle must be ever more precise. At the hatchery nest, Bob Anderson has been keeping an eye on the widowed male. The male will always make uh, occasional visits to the nest. He still maintains the territory. He's working on his nest, adding little uh, trinkets that might make it more attractive. This particular nest is prime property. It's uh, you know located so close to a prime food source. And many, many eagles have been vying to get into the territory. Now that he's alone, an approaching female would be courted. After rearranging his corn husks, the male sets off to cover his territory. But now, another eagle buzzes the nest. It's a female. An aerial duet may be a chance for the prospective couple to size up each other's condition. A healthy eagle can cruise at 40 miles an hour in level flight and hit 100 in a dive. <laughs> 